Okay, we're to the part of our map making where we want to um, start adding the text that we need, like titles and data credits. Remember that you always need to provide a citation um, and give credit for the entity that has provided the data for you to use, unless, of course, it's your own data. But Esri has provided these base maps for us, and they have dynamic text that gives credit to all the groups that were involved in that. So I'm going to zoom in using the navigation and the shift key. I'll zoom in on the page a little bit and show you. So this might be interfering with what we're trying to show on the map, and it might be competing. So um, I don't like that these are forced on us, and so I like to handle them my own way. So to take care of these, you have to deal with the dynamic text feature, and um, that's here under the Insert tab, and then Dynamic Text. And then if you scroll down here, it's about, I don't know, two-thirds of the way down the page is Service Layer Credits. Click on that, and then you have to draw a space for them. And it doesn't really matter what you do. Sometimes it blows the text up like this. It doesn't always do that. But if you right-click and go into the Properties, Text Symbol, um, we can change that to something a little bit more reasonable. I also like to make the text not uh, black on white, but maybe gray on white, just to reduce the, the contrast a little bit. Um, I don't like that data credits um, compete with things like the legend or the title. So um, that's much more manageable. Um, you can also just insert your own text and type in your own uh, data credits. But of course, we are not going to accept that huge size. And then you could um, type this information in here, or you could just summarize using you know, National Geographic and Esri, for example. Um, you, know, you need to decide what you want to include for your data credits, but that would be the professional way to handle that so that it doesn't compete with the data and information on your map.